Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a super quick review and demo on the new Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder. I've had mine for about three weeks, so every time that I've worn a full face of makeup, I have worn it and tested it out, and I really, really like it so far. I got mine at Ulta for $32, um, and I'm on the Laura Geller website, so I'll read to you what it says on there. As addictive as your favorite photo filter, this sheer silky powder creates soft focus perfection and will quickly become your new beauty bestie. Droplets of pure pigments blur flaws, balance your skin tone, and illuminate your face with a warm natural glow. Swirl it on liberally all over your makeup. There's no such thing as too much for the perfect finish. Um, it says that it sets your foundation for a glowing photo finish. Um, color correcting pigments blur imperfections or feels weightless and looks naturally radiant. Um, I absolutely love it so far. I've been using it kind of like what it says as a setting powder, but if my skin is ever looking dull, which it can, especially on days when I wear a lot of foundation and concealer to cover everything up, um, your face can look sort of flat. So I've been sweeping this over my forehead, right in the center where, you know, the light hits it and it looks really pretty. Um, I've tried it on my brow bone. I've tried it in the inner corner, on my cheekbones as a highlight. You can really put it wherever you want. You can use it to set your entire face. I saw on Instagram, um, some people have said that they've been using it to even set their under eye concealer, which I have tried twice. Um, it works but it makes your under eyes really, really glow. That's not really something that I want. I like when my under eyes look bright, but not necessarily shiny and glowing like that. But it is a really cool product. It only comes in one shade. It just says universal on the back. The packaging is really cute. It's, you know, it's pretty plasticky, but I don't really care about that too much as long as the product inside is good. It's really colorful and pretty inside. It has a bunch of different colors. I guess they're supposed to like color correct in a way. So, let me see. If there's anything else that I missed. Oh, okay. So yeah, online it explains the colors a little more. It just says that the purple in the powder brightens dull complexions. The yellow camouflages under eye circles. The green neutralizes redness, and then the orange corrects blue tones in your skin. I'll quickly show you how it works, how I use it, um, how it works for me. You can really use it however you want, do what you want with it. So I haven't applied any highlight or anything today. First I'm going to take this um, Sonia Kashuk brush, it's their number 16. I love this, it's super, super soft, and I like to use this if I'm going to apply a lot of it all over my face. So I just swirl it around and I do like to put it right in the middle. Can you tell? I hope you can tell on camera because it adds a really pretty glow. Like when the light hits your face, your face just looks radiant. I don't think I look like I have an Instagram filter on when I'm wearing this powder but it does make your skin look really radiant and glowing, especially on those days when I just look in the mirror and I'm like, oh God. And this is just perfect. I did see, I think someone said it on Instagram. They thought it was like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, but on steroids. And I've never tried those. I've wanted to for years, but I just never knew, you know, I just could never make up my mind because some people would say that they were wonderful. And, oh, look what they do to my skin. And I'd look and I'd be like, I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see a difference. And then other times I think, wow, that looks really, really pretty. And you can use it for a lot of things like this. But from what I can tell, just using this on myself and seeing how those work on other people, I think that this, I think that this does a lot more and you can really, really see it. So I have it on my forehead. I can put a little bit down my nose. I've even, if my cheeks look dull, like if um, I'm wearing a matte blush, which I am today, I feel like you can use it even as like a blush topper. So 
I think it works well like that. I'll use this little tiny elf brush. It doesn't say what brush it is. Just a little eyeshadow brush. And I can take a little bit and put it up here. And then a little bit on the other side. Looks really pretty. Just adds a little something. And now I'll take a little bit and put it on the inner corner to brighten them up. And now I'm gonna take my Morphe M501 brush and apply some as a highlight on my cheekbone to show you that you can do that. So I'm gonna load up the brush because it is sort of subtle. So, and for the video, I want you guys to be able to see. So now I'll do the other side. A little bit above my eyebrow. A little bit down the nose. And a little bit on my cupid's bow because why not? So I just applied it how I would. Um, on a normal day, I did play a little extra just so that you could really see it on camera. You know, before I applied this and without applying any sort of highlighter, um, my skin did look dull. And now, I mean, I didn't even need a real highlighter. This like doubles up. It could be a setting powder. You could use it as an eyeshadow. You can use it as a highlighter. You can really use it in a lot of ways and I really think it's worth the money and I really, really like it. I give this an A+. Um, when I run out of it, which I don't see that happening anytime soon, but when I do, I would definitely repurchase it. I absolutely love this stuff. It's really, really good. How many more times can I say that? It adds a really fresh, pretty glow to your skin and without looking super glittery like some highlights can do. It just adds a really, really pretty sheen and I really, really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's not glitterly. It's glitterly. Really? Literally? Glitterly?